Episcopal Retirement Homes has been a leader in housing, health care, and supportive services for older adults for 58 years. A few years ago, we began to investigate new approaches to nursing care. What we learned is there is a better way. About a year ago, we broke ground for Dupree Cottages, a community that will change people's thinking about what a nursing home could be. The construction is now complete, and we are pleased to offer this new approach to nursing care called person-centered care to the greater Cincinnati community. Dupree Cottages is a place where residents will be in control of their lives and we will respect and honor their wishes and desires on a daily basis. We invite you to take a look and see why this is very different than the traditional model of nursing care. Let's take a look inside. If you look back at history in terms of how nursing homes were developed in our country, they evolved from the hospital model of the 1960s and 1970s, and little has changed over the years, unfortunately, uh, when those first nursing homes were developed. But the new model is dramatically different. It looks like a home. There is a front door with a porch in many cases, a hearth room, a place where people can gather and enjoy life together or enjoy their own private time, an open kitchen where residents can participate in cooking if they desire to do that, or simply gather for conversation and perhaps a beverage. They can enjoy a dining together in a separate dining room. There is outdoor spaces with patios and garden areas where they can enjoy the outdoor and the best that nature has to offer. And then privacy through private rooms, which is not typically the case in many nursing homes today. The transformation to person-centered care really has a couple of key elements to it to be successful. One is creating the physical environment, the actual house itself. The second element of the transformation is the, the change in the culture itself. Redesigning the staff organization, providing significant training for staff, uh, helping staff accept a different role perhaps than what they've had under the previous more institutional model of uh, nursing home services. Residents will wake up and decide what they want to do and life will be spontaneous just as it is in your household now. You have choice as to what you want to do for the day. If someone decides that they want to have apple pie for dessert for dinner tonight and we don't have apples here, well, someone's going to get in the car and go to the grocery store and get those apples that we need. It stimulates so many memories and the smells and just the actions of having your hand in bread dough uh, and mixing the, the pancake batter. Um, that's so valuable to our residents who have done that their whole life. A very important aspect of person-centered care is freedom from institution. So instead of building a nursing home in a very traditional sense where it's an institution, we have been given the freedom to design a home for elders and we've challenged ourselves with the steering team literally to say no every time someone wants to bring something institutional into our cottages. The living well concept is very important and I think we'll come out with this particular approach. Longevity I would certainly expect to increase and that's a a parameter that could be studied, but the important thing is the quality of life, uh, which is harder to identify, but other centers have actually seen and described improvement in the quality of life. I think the individual home, your own home, the cottage as we call it, is what you want to do at the end of your life. You want to get back home. Wouldn't you and wouldn't I prefer an option where I felt I was getting into a situation that was very much like home, that I was still in control, that I still had the confidence in the caregiving, but I didn't feel like I was in a hospital room. That's what person-centered care is about. That's what the idea of the Dupree Cottages is about. It's to bring flexibility and purpose and enjoyment to an elder's life. Person-centered care is the way it should be. Each individual being cared for in their own individual way. We will know that we are giving purpose and choice and freedom 
to our residents each and every day. And the result of that, the result of purpose, choice, and freedom is that they will be able to live well. What this enables them to do is live on their own terms, not follow that regimented schedule. Uh, if you'd like to have breakfast a little bit later, well, guess what? You didn't miss it. You can order it a little bit later. If you'd like to go outside, you go outside. If you want to rummage in the refrigerator, that's what it's all about. And I think for the public, uh, this has got to be a very exciting concept, uh, this whole idea of living well. Person-centered care makes life worth living, and living very well. My prediction is uh, 15 or 20 years from now, we'll look back on this and say, yes, we were proud to be the first to offer this new model of nursing home care in the greater Cincinnati community. And it has become the standard. It has become um, the way that services are delivered for older adults because it's better. It's a better way of serving seniors who need nursing home care.